There you go, Kara. We're live. Friday Night Flies. Friday Night Flies here in Pemberton, British Columbia, Canada. <laughs> and uh, my name's Kara, and thanks for joining us. And I will be tying up a little minnow, a big little minnow that has proven to be very effective in mostly lakes for me. I've, I've caught some pike on this, caught some rainbow trout, some bull trout, and uh, just a little imitation minnow, and quite simple to tie. So. I just changed the mics just to got a nice soft voice. Not so all these hoarse voices. We <laughs> <laughs> get a little obnoxious. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so we're, we're going to go down to the uh, our camera here. There it is. Oh, and happy Easter, everyone. Happy hey, good, Easter. Good, good Friday. Wow. Good, good Friday. Good Friday. <laughs> yeah, it's Good Friday. I remember a couple of years ago. Uh, heli skiing on this day. It was one of the best days of my entire life. Oh my god. It was deep. I've never actually been on a set of skis in my entire life. Totally <laughs> well, it was heaven. It was. Oh, no. yeah. I've lived here my entire life in Pemberton, and I've never been up either Whistler nor Black Hole Mountain. That's Isn't that crazy? Sad. That is crazy. Sad. Not many people that can say that. No, it's almost like you, you know, you, you can't. Know. It's it right almost right like now. it's wrong. I know. <laughs> I've got to do it. I'm just going to do like a peak, peak. I'm going up one side, down the other. Get it all done. Get it done. I've been up both now. Well, they do have a nice barbecue up there on Saturday nights. Not <laughs> okay. not yet, though, but in the summer. Oh, yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah. So this is a streamer, streamer hook. Yeah, with, you're uh, little, you got to hold it up near your... Uh, a a, a, front a of size, the front of the size four yeah, right. streamer. It says streamer and nymph hook. Big bulky hook. Yeah, it's not, it has some girth to it, so it'll sink your fly. Oh, also, I will be putting a little bit Arm. of lead wrap on there. Lead. Well, it helps <laughs> to get the boy if you go. And so, I just tie this on here, go all the way down. Shaft. Hey, for all you guys that are out there looking for something fun to do tonight. Whole lot of lead is playing at the Legion in Pemberton. That's right. And as a fundraiser for cancer, these ladies, they go out and they ride their bikes and they need some help and they're doing it for a great cause. So if anybody wants to come out and do a little dancing, by all means, that's where you'll find me. Tonight. tonight. <laughs> the one night you'll see her loose on Pemberton. <laughs> yeah, not too often I go out dancing in Pemberton. Never, yeah, no, I never leave home. And I'm like, oh, what are we going to do? Well, so, there's not much to do in Pemberton. So I wrap that up and down three times, and then this is a little piece of lead. It's this lead-free 0.015 weight. Well, oh, aren't lead, you nice to lead-free, eh? You're like, here's the lead. Lead-free? Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Uh, it's weighted something or other here. <laughs> what would it be, bismuth? It's got to be bismuth. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know. It doesn't say what it is it on there. It looks like lead. Well, yeah. looks just like the lead I have at home. Though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's lead-free. Yeah, so pretty much you want to have lead double free. the length of your hook. It must be bismuth. It's got to be. That's it. Hey, question and answers. Don't even... <laughs> don't even bother with that one. <laughs> we don't know. It's live right now. <laughs> yeah, you can ask the question. If you ask it, you have to answer it. It doesn't really say much more. Than lead free. <laughs> than lead free. So I'm going with it is a weight. Yeah. Also, the hook is definitely a lot heavier than that, that little bit that I wrapped around there. Okay. So then I also have this uh, flash of blue. That's mylar tubing, isn't it? Mylar tubing, but it says it's flashaboo. Oh, cool. From flashaboo. Oh, from flashaboo. Okay, well, there you go. Mylar tubing. It's flashy. It's for jigs and streamers. Yeah. It's going to look like a perfect little trout body or little little minnow body. Get those big fish hungry. Sweet. So you pull out the little doodad, the stuffing in the middle. And I unwrap that, and I use three strands of it. And I wrap that onto the hook, just to give it a little Bye. fullness. But I do trim it down a little bit, because you don't want it as long as the mylar tubing, because it'll hang out at the end. And you don't want the guts of the fish hanging out. <laughs> 
I don't know if that would be effective or not, but I'm guessing <laughs> not. Wait a second, there's something wrong with that there's fish. something wrong with that fish. <laughs> so if it still seems a bit long, just trim her down. I see your, your eyes are and your head are doing things there. You're thinking about this mylar tubing, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> what else could I do with this? Oh, yeah. Mylar tubing's fun. Hey, if you ever had a bleeding nose or something like that, mylar tubing comes in pretty handy. You stick your guts out. And well, stick the mylar tubing in your nose. Yeah, you never know. Well, that that is. <laughs> I was thinking that more is like not a, what I would have come up with. If you had the UV it. the UV stuff and put it on here, you could have some really get great party uh, <laughs> jewelry for. Yeah. Or, you know, a like, full moon fishing party. You, get <laughs> some remote. you guys are crazy. Yeah. Okay, so then you just slide that on, just like that. Slide it on everything. And then you just wrap the tail end. Make sure you got your head in the right spot, you know, the top part positioned properly. So it all works out in the end. And I do like three wraps, just like that. Then, this is some rabbit strips. It's kind of a gray color. And I just kind of have the end of it maybe a centimeter past the end of the hook. Perfect. Because you don't want any false strikes. As Scotty Boulder would say. <laughs> we, have to, we have to give him a shout out. He's really bitter that he couldn't make it tonight. Hey, Scotty. And I know you're watching. <laughs> and I did trim down the bottom side of this into a bit of a V. False anchor. So, make it look pretty. Yeah. Just a little touches sometimes, add a little a little extra. And then you just sort of have to separate the fur here so it doesn't all bunch up. And wrap it in there. And this is sort of the only tricky part to it is you want to even it out as you go along so that it looks like kind of some even ribs going around. The body well, of the fish. If you're using this in the lakes and rivers around here, that's gonna last a little bit longer than if you were just to tie it the head and the ass. Oh yeah. Fly too. Yeah. No, this is pretty durable. I don't think I've ever recalled really thrashing one to the point where it fell apart. Yeah. No. I. You know what? That one pattern that you were trucking there the other night when we were chasing them big bulls. Looks like you'd had that in the box for a few years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I don't hook a tree, it usually lasts for a while. <laughs> yeah, so you just make it nice and even all the way to the top. Make sure it's you know, firmly attached. And uh, it should be working out good. Sometimes if you need to, if the fur is getting a little crazy, you can always just wet your fingers a little bit and separate it. But it seems to be working pretty good for me today. But that is a technique that works pretty good. Well, you got a few viewers tonight. Oh, good. It's amazing what a big smile can do on the camera. Aha! Uh -huh. I don't know if that's all. Yeah, it's well, I'm... They came to look that, at Scotty. That fly powder was pretty, pretty smoking. Yeah, so there we go. That worked out good. So now you just have to tie up the head here, make sure everything's eyes would, nice and Eyes would, do, would make that oh. pattern nice. So what would you use for eyes? Dude, you just, like you what just kind had of, to top her fly, didn't you? What kind of <laughs> eyes would you <laughs> use? So, again, I, I'm oh. not... Okay. No, no, okay. it's good. It's good. good. It's good. I would use eyes if yeah, I knew what like, kind of eyes. Like, um, like tape eyes, but you need to use tape like, eyes. Yeah, tape Those eyes. Those wouldn't stay on there. Would they? Tape eyes. Yeah. Well, you tape. You, you're gonna. You super glue them on, right? Is that and big then, enough? And then you UV you resin them on afterwards. I'm in between right now. Oh, yeah. Because I'd always. Have you got any tape eyes? What's that? Have you got any tape eyes that would work on that guy? No. I don't. Well, we don't have UV resin. <laughs> you can do it with heads, man. I wouldn't do it. Well, I don't think it would stay on. Oh, okay, Maybe, yeah, okay. that's a challenge. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing that he's going to tie. Well, yeah, I don't I, So what do you think if I put some of these on? Okay, well, what you do is you put those on. You, you put them on. So I tie this all off. You tie it, well, you, but you'd have, to, you'd have to bulk up your head just a little bit more, right? So that you're going to have something to stick yeah. the eye to. Okay. And then you're going to, then you'd super glue your eye on. Yeah, right? back it up a bit. Then you'd super glue your eye on. And then, and then what I would do is I would take my UV resin and I'd build a nice little... 
fish has. You know what I'm gonna do, Scotty? Since <laughs> I'm such a nice guy. Oh, Karen, do you have any hits in gonna... it? I don't. I didn't bring my hits in it. Did you have some time? I don't have any. No. Oh, Hold on, we're gonna. I'm gonna get something better. Huh? You're committed to tying a few flies with us, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Oh, I already know what I'm gonna tie probably next week. Well, I'm tying up. I'm tying up oh, some great flies like uh, for bone fishing. I like that. Okay, so what? We'll, okay, so we'll, I'll tie this off. That's bad enough, isn't it? Yeah, tie it off for sure. Okay, so. Which are you going with? Because oh. I had to. Because yeah, I'll go throw this around and see if those eyes stayed on there. Oh, dude. Sure. Yeah, you have. I always thought tape. You know, yeah, like, you know, gluing something onto the thread. Eyes just make work. In terms of mental patterns, I think they just make them come alive. I've just never tried. Which which eye are you gonna go with? The never did. Ones. Don't think of it. Smallest. Like that guy. See. Two mil? Yeah. Something like that. There you go. Okay, so that's all tied up. Okay, you're doing this too. You're doing okay, it. Okay, let's do it. Okay, okay so that's okay. your finished product right there. Yeah. You don't need any more. But, but we are. We're going to do something new just yeah. because it's, uh, you're going to have to help her with the. the you don't go strong. Okay. We're going to show people how easy this stuff is to uh, use. Oh, oh, you, oh, oh. We got some UV. You're gonna get UV. your own UV products tonight. Clear fly fish. Oh, thank you. Spot Valley Sporting Goods. Oh boy. But oh, now boy. you know what you just did. You just signed in. You're gonna have to come and join us. Oh, <laughs> no, yeah. absolutely. Okay. So, well, it might be a bit big. Oh, never too big. Oh, yeah, that looks really good. Okay, now you gotta roll it over. Okay. Right. Right. Nope, we won't let you what you just brought it up. Oh, look at that. Okay. Yeah, those are good. That's a good color because it goes really good with the mylar, right? Eh? Oh, yeah, that's... yeah, it totally matches. All right, okay. just try and match them up as good as you can. Yeah, I think that's and pretty then, good. And Scott is going to show you how easy it is to use the UV so head. What we're going to do? Resin. That's a big bottle. You got to be careful. You push on the camera. This guy is a seed and now we need um, been using this for quite a while. We just need uh, um, something to poke it a little bit with. Yeah, yeah, I, got that right here. I got something. Okay. Okay. Can I just spread it around? And don't, but don't move it too much. You just want to make it so it's not a lump. Right? Okay. And move it back. Yeah. That's Look good. This, eh? Okay. So perfect. Little... That's good. Don't. That's all you want to do for right now. Because right now, if you keep moving it. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, that looks really good. We'll lock it in now. So now that this should this should make the eyes not want to come off as much. Well, it's not going to make it. So, it's and not does that does that dry it? That cures it. It's a, that, cures that cures it. it. Yeah. It's a UV torch. I know. It's so <laughs> I know you're learning something tonight. Oh, well, I right? knew I would. I knew I would. I was excited okay, so to hear about this last give week. A little, <laughs> give it a little poke and make sure it's that it's cured. Okay. Maybe. Right. Yeah, it's good to go. Okay, so now. Turn it over and do the exact same thing on the top. It's good. It's hard. Okay. All you gotta do is turn it over and do the same thing on the top. There you go. Aaron, don't put too much. Like just a little. Just a tiny. And then, and okay. It's better to do it slowly. Okay. Right? That's awesome. That out of the way. Hey, we're not we're not just working with care. We're we're making this thing. We're far. making history here. That's right. UV glow in the dark head. Yeah, this pattern has definitely been improved. Well, do, does it look better to you? Yeah. Do you like it? I, yeah. Either way, you know, like that eye does bring a little bit more attention to it. Oh, definitely. Oh, God. Yeah, that looks pretty good, just like that, doesn't it? Yeah, and then you cure it with a UV torch. Mm -hmm. It kind of works its way into the holes and wherever you need it. So, and and you can actually put a thin coat on the outside of them to give them the 3D look to, oh. to you know, fatten it up a little bit. But I mean, you can see how quick it works. Yeah. Hey, we did, and you we need just made you a believer, didn't we? Do you, do you need this thing to cure it? Yeah, you need you a UV light yeah. to cure. You could if you were tying outside, like you can't use that stuff outside. It'll cure it as fast as you put it on. Because oh. the sun will do the same thing, right? Oh, okay. As fast as you put it on. So that's really? not really recommended. It's no. not right. you got to inside, yeah. Try it inside. <laughs> in the dark. In the dark, yeah. In the dark. That looks really good. Oh, man. 
Yeah, that looks killer. It's on the side. There we go. So if you got your your pattern without is right down on the vise, you can yeah. kind of hold them together. And yeah, so there's uh there's the original, and then yeah, I guess the eye improved version, oh. which they they both look really fishy. Yeah. But, uh, I think we kind of changed the game a little bit on that one with uh, Scotty's advice. Yeah. But either way, they both look pretty darn fishy, and you know what? I've been with you. That one flows through the water pretty deadly. Too. Yeah, it looks just like a fish. This little tail, it just wiggles and everything. Hot. Just, yeah. Hot. Oh. Anyhow, we're going to go up top and uh, yeah. smiling here. Kara's <laughs> sign out. Yeah, thanks for joining, and have a fabulous Easter weekend. Hope you get lots of chocolate. Chocolate eggs? Or chocolate anything? <laughs> yeah, Richie kisses. Yeah, well, you know, I usually res Ham reserve dinner? those for Valentine's, but you sure. When you think of Easter, is it ham or is it turkey? Ham. Ham. Definitely. All the way. Ham all the way. Yeah, or lamb, maybe. Ham and scalloped potatoes. Yeah, it's gotta be. Hope everybody's eating well, because <laughs> yeah. it sounds like we will be. Yeah, oh yeah. Definitely. And uh, yeah, keep a tight line. Tight lines, perfect.